Good morning. Today we are going to do the nastiest, 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 probably the tallest, thickest, nastiest yard of the season. <coughs> this yard's about three weeks. This yard's probably three to three and a half weeks since it's been last serviced. It floods real bad, so we had the hurricane a week and a half ago. We had the tropical storm Thursday. We had a week of rain leading up to the hurricane. I even told him a week ago, get somebody else to do your yard because I'm not gonna have time to do it until later on. He did have somebody show up and they left. They wouldn't do it. They did the neighbor's yard and they did the yard beside him. They wouldn't do his yard. Nothing against the customer. He's a great guy. This yard just sucks. This is gonna be rough. Here's what we got. We're gonna go ahead and cross blade. So we're going to Go like this and go like this okay so here's the blades that I use I have this in my description too down below the video and if you don't know what that means if you're watching me on your cell phone if you turn your phone straight up and down then your picture gets really small but right below that little video there's a little down arrow if you hit that down arrow then you'll see the description you'll see the date we uploaded likes views in that description block now if you start scrolling down you'll find all the links to all my items that I use in my business on a regular basis one of those links um, stuff I buy for my business is the blades these blades so I bought these blades off Amazon cheap as hell I think it was seven or eight dollars for a set of three because you know this mower takes three 42 inch deck three blades so these are the numbers these are the copperhead by rotary 15-14540 and then your gravely number is 04265400 so I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna cross blade a brand new set with an old set that I just sharpened and um, let's see what happens to get through this yard see how it works I'll tell you right now it ain't gonna be getting through this yard very easy this yard's gonna suck um, I use an electric impact and I go pretty tight this is a Chicago electric power tools item number four five two six two half inch electric impact wrench uh, this thing's badass man let's take a look we're gonna uh, take care of business now so we got it we needed we got it edged and we got it blown in so we're ready to mow um, I walked around and I picked up pine cones already most of them um, a lot of them but I mean we are just look at this see all that sitting up there all the pine straw and all the edging and the weed eating clippings I mean we got ourselves a mess now this is a very difficult yard to mow because of all the trees and the way they're elevated up so it's really a hard yard to mow but look at this we are going to handle all of this no raking no bagging what I did is I weed eated all around the property and then I blew everything to multiple areas so I can start working it with the mower um, and not direct it onto the house now I don't have a mulching kit I'm only gonna side discharge it uh, just like anybody else now when it comes to like going around here I'll raise the deck up and just clean up the grass but I weeded it already um, so the bed is done now he does his own bushes so I didn't do the bushes all I do is cut edge trim blow and go all these leaves that were here that were really bad I blew out there for some good camera work show you guys uh, the mulching capabilities three blades cross blades so we're gonna hit this with six blades but like I said everything's weed eated everything's blown now I could walk away right now if it were to rain and the yard looks a thousand times better than it did before I got here already. And then the backyard here is also is all ready to be done. This is some serious mowing. This is some serious mulching. 
we're gonna do it we're gonna hit it uh, we're gonna do it on camera and this should be fairly interesting
I would say we made light work of that, huh? Now here's a little bit of what's left up here. Pine needles are now short, but when you look over here, it's dust. Made it powder. Just made it powder. So the last couple of times that I went back and forth, I uh, raised the deck a quarter inch so I wasn't chopping the grass. Um, so now what I'm going to do is I'll go ahead and do this section up here. Uh, and then I'm going to take my blower and I'm going to blow all this to there and then we're going to do that section there.
Okay, so we got this blown off. I blew off around the trees. And what I did is I just set it up right here behind the mower. Get a little bit of straw right here. So I just swing around, snatch this up real quick with the blades, flip it in to the flower beds real fast here, and be done with it. So now let's tackle this mess. We'll just single camera this one. So your question might be, hey Dan, wouldn't it just be faster to rake it up yeah, if you, you want to haul debris? Um, doesn't really make for good video. <laughs> the purpose of this video isn't to say one way is better than another way. The purpose of this video is uh, to show you how crossblading works, how well crossblading can work in the worst of conditions. So now we're gonna do here. So we'll mow all this now and uh, get this squirt away.
So a big question that you guys are going to have is how brown is this going to get because of the clippings? So that's why I just blew it onto the driveway. I want you to see how small the clippings are. Small. It's not, it's not like real big layers of, of grass sitting on top of the grass here. So I mean, you don't even really see it. So there will be no brown in the yard or anything like that. There will be no issues, none. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna blow off the front yard, just finish the front and I'm gonna prep this a little bit better for our final mow. So I got that stuff up against the house there. It's really tight here. So I'm gonna do a final blowout so I can grab it one more time with the mower and then I'm just gonna do the backyard and then I'll show you guys the finished product. Let's show you the uh, finished product here. I blew off the trees here. Went down the house and blew all that off. The pine cones are falling already. He's got a really cool drain here. So the water comes back here when it rains and we blow this little path and it goes into that drain right there. That drain goes all the way out to the street. So that's pretty awesome. In case you guys are wondering what the deal is, uh, like cost wise, how do I handle this situation? You know, I told him, hey look, weather happens and we skipped a cut because of the weather, but I'm here now for so long. Uh, I'm gonna charge you for two cuts. That way you're not out any extra money as if we stayed on time. And you know, it's not my fault that I couldn't work because of the weather. Look at this crap falling off so fast, whatever. So, I'm getting paid to do the yard twice, basically. I'm gonna build it for two cuts. Even though it took me a really long time to do it. But that's okay. So anyways, that is cross blading with the Gravely ZTX 42 with some nasty ass tall thick St. Augustine grass.